Welcome back to Wayne Myers Old Iron. Boy, I'll tell you what, I got a donor truck and I went to get it and I thought it'd take about an hour. It took me from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock that afternoon. Whew, what a struggle. Let's take a look. Hey, welcome to Rat Rod. My name's Waylon Wire, and don't ever do what we do here on this channel. Well, we got a pretty good crop of grapes this year. And I got some friends coming up. Well, two different friends at different times <laughs> coming up today to pick some grapes. And, uh, but before that, well, we got some really important business to attend to. And the first thing I got to do is go get Noah's brat off the trailer. Yep, it's on the trailer again. Blew another head gasket. Um, I could not find any indication in the gaskets where it was leaking. I changed the head gaskets out on here a while back, about a month ago. Uh, it's just one thing after another with that old car. But um, I couldn't see where it was leaking. So it may be a crack in the head, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back with different heads this time. And I probably should do the right thing and take them to the machine shop and get them checked out for cracks and and get them leveled up good. And maybe that'll maybe they'll hang in there this time. We'll see. But right now, I'm hoping that Brat will roll off the trailer uh, because he took the key with him. I don't know why. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go get her done. Let's get her did. key and the steering wheel is locked in place and I just noticed that my tabs expired on my trailer in November of last year ha just a year late that's all I'm probably laying down there in my desk drawer okay I think we're ready to go we got the trailer we got the winch we got the battery for the winch we got the ramps we got uh, two GoPros and three extra batteries. Let's roll. Well, here's what we're after, but I'm so tired they got wheels on them. Yeah, they got wheels on them. I don't know why they're off. Why in the world is it sitting on the ground? Sheet metal's pretty good on this thing. A little ding in this door, but that can be reckoned with, I suppose. Bed looks, looks pretty good. My tailgate's better than that one. It's got the dual doors, gas doors. That's what I need. It's just that it's sitting on the ground. Doggone it, ain't darn hell. That's old Mike Reed used to say. Hmm, okay. 
Well, I guess I went off half cocked. I gotta go. Oh, look at here. They beat it up, shoving it in here. What a shame. Oh. Uh, yeah. I gotta go back home and get, uh, I don't know, almost be easy just bring the tractor over here and pick that thing up, put the wheels on it. I make sure those are eight lugs in the back. Why in the world are the wheels off of it? I don't understand. Okay, those will work. Yeah, 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 all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, be uh, be almost easy to just bring my tractor over here and pick that thing up, put the wheels on it. And I'd have to come back and get my tractor, but I'm not very far from my house. Let me think about this. All right, we're gonna try this again. I've got two floor jacks. I got a shovel in case I have to dig out to get those jacks underneath the thing. Piece of plywood to set the jack on. Uh, got a lug wrench. I didn't notice if there was any lug nuts over here on the hub or not, so I borrowed some lug nuts off old Jimmy Hoffa. He's such a good old boy. Just friendly. Always ready to help out. So here we go again. Well, the way these goofy guys got that stuff set in there, they dumped that camper right there in the middle of the road. And I can't maneuver my truck and trailer around in the front of that truck to get it loaded. And the lug nuts don't fit, so I've got to borrow some off the back. Well, I've got to borrow a wheel off the big red here. don't have too much air in it but it'll roll I think <laughs> I think my jack's just sinking deeper in the ground There she is. Alright. I don't know. That back one is flat. I probably should change it out too. I brought a couple off the Phoenix in case I need them. Ah, oh boy. This turned into an all day job. I gotta try and find some bailing wire and that shouldn't be too hard to do because this thing doesn't have motor in it and the exhaust is laying on the ground so to get it on the trailer I'm gonna have to tie that exhaust up and I wish that dog would quit, dark, quit barking <clears throat> all right let me see here I think while that's up in the air I'm gonna try and turn the wheel Well, I may as well jack that up and put a wheel on there because that's just going to be nothing but trouble. Well, I got a new plan. 
that thing's not all the way flat but it's flat enough it's going to make it hard to roll this thing appears to have brakes on it so i'm going to put a good tire on there and one on the back and i have four good tires and i'm going to see if i can't roll this thing forward i uh i wish i had some help be nice if i could bump this thing with the pickup a little bit and then have somebody in there with the brakes but that's the way it goes would have been a good job for noah he's at his dad's this weekend i think it's all right i'll wait i'm gonna get her done i'm used to working by myself probably gonna be a bigger tire yeah, maybe not. <sighs> Wasn't too bad. I got some blocks under the wheels on the other side. I think I'll see if I can jack that rear end up high enough to get a wheel on back there. Oh boy, we're having fun now. Okay, toughen up, Waylon. Lug nuts. Well, I stole some wire off of this truck and I crawled under there and tied that exhaust up. So I called the guy I got this truck from and he's going to come down and steer it for me. I'm going to try and drag it out of here, get it so I can get it on the trailer. All right, sir. It appears to have brakes, maybe. <laughs> I had to jack it up. I had a real fun time. Sitting on a bunch of rash shit. 
use that old meat hook for a snatch block. It don't work very good, does it? Now you see how the poor people have to live. All right, let's strap her down. Head for the barn. It's supposed to take all day. So it's supposed to take about an hour. I forgot my other strap. Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess the next order of business today is to get this thing off the trailer, but I need to get my wheels off of here that goes on Big Red, the Phoenix. It's probably going to be easier to do that on the trailer than it is in the dirt. So uh, if I can get my jack in, in the right position, and I think I can. So I guess... The only thing left to do is just do it. Well, I sure am trying to learn how to be more careful. I got this uh, little dip here in my pavement. So I backed this trailer up here and got it leveled up pretty good. And uh, it appears that the emergency brake does not work. But um, I got blocks under the wheels on the other side i'm going to put some slack in that strap enough to allow me to jack that up and get the wheel off of it but i'm going to keep it attached so it can't uh, it can't get away from me uh let's get busy
giving it a CAT scan, Josh? How'd everything look? Think it's all right? There's old Bambi back there between Bridger's pickup and that cab over. But now the question for me becomes, where am I gonna put this thing? This is just ridiculous. I'm running out of room. But I've sold a couple of rigs. Believe it or not, um, I've got the battery, I borrowed the battery out of Jimmy to run my winch to winch his truck on the trailer. So when I come back from unloading this thing, I'll pop the battery back in old Jimmy. Yeah, he, uh, he sold, I hate to see him go, but he's going to a good home and I'm happy about that. It's gonna have a better life than what I can give it. So, guy coming all the way from Missouri to get it. I think he's gonna follow through. He sent me half the money. Besides, he's a he's no Missouri boy, and so am I. So we'll get along just great. Gonna miss you, Jimmy. All right, where can I stash this thing? Now well, I'll turn this off until I figure it out. Well, I got it back here far enough so it won't bash into Noah's car. And uh, it'll miss that other one up there. And I'm kind of downhill, but I can, think I can jack up the tongue of the trailer enough to ease it off of there. I may aim it that direction just a little bit more. I don't want to take any chances of hitting that other car. Let me jockey it around just a little bit. You know, I really am trying to be more careful. <laughs> I think... I think, uh, you know, since I don't have any help, it'd be nice if there's somebody in there to steer it. And then I uh, wouldn't have to worry about it. But if I just jack it up until it rolls off, that thing could go cattywampus and run into this car. Or, I don't know, go off the trailer sideways or something. I think I'm going to go get my tractor and put uh, pull the bucket up there and put a real short leash onto that bumper and it won't hurt a thing to bump into that old bumper if it hits the bucket it hits the bucket it's no big deal so uh i think that's the safest and uh best way to do it and and way to do it to cause the least amount of damage i don't need any more damage not enough damage but uh i just noticed that bedside got a little a little owl in it it looks like i don't know that may be a shadow but that's no big deal yeah, I'm gonna go get my tractor. I just feel better about that. I'll get back with you.
Well, I think that could have gone way worse. So, that's too bad they beat up the hood moving this truck. It was perfect. These hoods are kind of hard to find in good condition. Most of them are bent. Most of them are bent back here the other way. Well, fellers and fellerettes, we got her did. I'm gonna leave that trailer right there. Time to refloor this trailer again. That's a wrap. Well, not quite. Well, now I gotta go down to the shop and sort all this garbage out. Put it away. On stuff. Okay, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for this one. I really want to thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video and I uh, hope you'll hit that like button that kind of helps me out a little bit if you haven't subscribed yet maybe go ahead and consider that so uh, I'll see you next time right here on Whalen Wire's Old Iron and until then I sure do appreciate you